Why did I have to get it on such a useless character, though, right? The Madman! The final boss is blue. I think it was a blue guy, and then I don't remember if it was two green guys or two red guys. It was probably two red guys, because I remember that I alternated when I played it the first time. This guy was anti-healing, and then his lieutenants, they're probably protectors, got brambles. I probably don't want protectors. They get buffed. I think we'll go down the left path, or the middle path. And if Team Blue is strong, that means I go down the left path. Because green is scary. Oh yeah, there's no alliance for humans here. Oh, Voon was actually a pretty big part of my game. End of each turn, summon a hyena. Oh my god, we gotta kill that. Wow, that hyena's insane. Also, it just did 6 damage to everything. At the end of each turn, deal damage equal to this character has attacked all enemies. Oh, wow. But the hyena was a bigger deal. 7777. And these things are all attacking. Hold the line. So if I hold the line, everything with six or 7 or more health is dead. And I just hope that the scavenging hyena doesn't get buffed first. Yep, that's fine. Oh, this order! Oh my god! I'm not gonna want to attack this guy directly, so this is the only guy without an attack. Very close. <laughs> uh, can't be crit. Your characters have plus two attack and wind fury. After this merc is attacking, plus two, plus two. Sure. This is interesting. Haven't fought an all blue team yet. It says Irella, Guff, and Tamsin. And I know Brightwing is useless. He's just there to make. Oh, th this is a dragon. Oh, I should have put out Brightwing! Okay, so. What am I most scared of? There's no nature combo, so that's only deal 5 damage, so it looks like Tamsin is strongest individually. We don't have nature combos... But deal 5 is better than deal 7 and take damage, probably. And then I had this guy go first, so this guy will go first and deal damage, and then this guy will go. Supposedly. Oh man. Deal 7, deal 5, deal 13, 9, 5, 5. Well, I guess we go out with a bang.
I should not have chosen the adventuring party to go up against. I don't know if I had an option. Uh, so let's see, this is going to deal 2 damage twice to this. That's good, that'll do 8. 8 plus... oh, second? 5. Oh, that's a slow ability. So this will deal 8. Wait. 4 damage to an enemy and one of its neighbors. Wait, that's just strictly better. Deal 2 damage, repeat for each dragon. Okay, so at least Tamsin down. And then we have... five? Oh... no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, Zyrella is the next scary one. Job's done. What? Wait, why did you go so slow? Guff, where were you? Deal 5 damage. Wait, did I lose both tiebreakers? I totally did. I had forgotten this guy was so low. I should have targeted this guy down before Zyrell. 26! Wait, what? Oh, right, of course, double damage. Casters are scary. I'm just double checking this. Deal 2 damage, repeat for each dragon you control. Right, that's just strictly worse. In this case. Job's done. <laughs> this guy's gonna try to swag on me. Plus 2, plus 6 of the runic slam. Yeah, that deals 8 damage, and that's dead. Probably a good time to heal. Deal 13 coming up, but very slow. Oh, I've killed that before. Oh, I don't feel good about my chances here. But the bright side is we have the synergy of Voon plus Dragon. The bad news is that the uh, Dragon ability is quite bad right now. 8 to all, I guess. Wow, there's no way I can get past the red guy. So against one enemy, that ability would be equivalent. Okay, we're gonna need a monster treasure on Brightwing. Fill your board with 1-1 one, one copies of the- oh, three turns. Eh, okay. Chance? Oh! Boom! Okay, this guy's gonna deal 24 damage to this one. That's bad. Oh! Decide to attack this instead. Attack again. 
Uh, 20... No, this is only... Oh, no, red against green. I, I got the colors wrong. So it's 24 damage to this guy. Um, yeah, you're dead. Can Brightwing solo the world? Is the question we ask ourselves. Taunt. You got this, Brightwing. This is a pretty good treasure in this case. I don't know how I'm gonna do the last fight with just Brightwing. But it would be a, a miracle. Who did his job? Killed off all the peasants. Boy, this is living on a meme and a dream right here. Hope the reflections stay around. They don't. The guys will be leveled up, and I think this next time when I take it, if I don't choose the adventurer path, we got this. Keep or replace? Uh, I will keep that. Final boss, Plague Maul the Rotting. If these guys decide to go with the uh, Rot and um, Bramble abilities, I might have a chance. Green is strong against blue also. Oh, even though Voon is dead, you still get his ability. Oh. Oh, that deals. Oh, I'm. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, rip. Good effort, good effort. That's what an exciting adventure path should feel like. A consolation from your last battle. Hey, that's not bad. Alright, we got it this time. Round two. Okay. Divine Shield, not a big deal. So, in theory, it is correct to lead with Team Blue because they will buff my team later. And then with Team Blue, I will toss in Cornelius. It's time for action. If uh, if green gets buffed, then if my double if my wind fury guy gets buffed, that's pretty good. Deal damage with the highest health. Okay, good thing we have a. Oh, and then this has ah uh, deal five damage to all enemies. Oh no, my divine shield. Well, the good news is the second one goes to Guff, and he can't be crit. Oh! No! Cornelius does not have the most HP now. Probably we're gonna get bullied. Jason character's taunt. Spikes, if attacked. But I'm casters.
Deal 12 to the highest. Currently guff. Hmm. Team Brightwing. Oh, they can all AoE heal. Wait, that's really good. This guy's 17 off. This guy's a lot off. And yeah. Yeah. Attack this way! Oh my god! Well, at least I got a bunch of healing before that. Oh, this can go again. Ah, uh, exactly as I had planned. Attack an enemy. And uh, the green is definitely going to try to attack my guys, but I will hold the front. I wonder if um, the enemy will ever... Cast uh, adjacent gets taunt if it's only him. My theory is no. Alright, so this is dead, but more space for me. Why did I have to get it on such a useless character, though, right? Actually, let me think. Um, that's 22 off, and that's uh, 13. So I should heal three times. Wait, actually, that next mercenary is going to be really buff. <laughs> That's not bad at all. It's just a week now, but it's going to be amazing coming up. Can't heal this turn. And we'll play a first RNG battle. Oh, bright wings! Yay! Alright, we're about to get a monster of a mercenary out. 1446 Blade Master Samuro. Right wing, you did that.
serious Tamsin love in that box. Wow, triple Tamsin out of the uh, rewards, which were rewarding Tamsin. Deals 55 damage using Runic Slam. My favorite ability. Complete the Nero Fireblade bounty. The pleasure is mine. Hmm. Ah, Nero. The finale, level 18, with the newbies. Definitely want Taunt up. It's time we'll go with good old Guff and Brown. All oh, right, can't taunt on the first round. Job done. I'm gonna not attack. Actually, I gained two attacks, so or gained two health, so it pays. It, it's a refund on the retaliation damage. Two damage. Get him. Taunted heal seems like a really good strat. Oh, wow, that was a big fire spike. I unlocked the level 3 ability on all of these. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my god, that's a good one. Let's deal 10 and get a 10 forward in play. The Lich King. Gain taunt this turn after an enemy attacks this merc. Freeze it until the end of the next turn. Seems good. Blessing of Sack. Restore two health to another friendly merc. Whenever it takes damage, this merc takes it instead. But this thing can't heal itself. You have to combo this with a healer. Gain taunt this turn after you cast a nature ability this turn in plus two plus four. Phase shift. Restore seven health to this merc and swap it with the highest health merc from your bench. Oh, it's all coming together. You're so playful, Bartwing. Oops, I didn't see what that other one was. Deal two damage to all enemies, gain immune this turn. Oh. Uh, guff. Give your characters plus four, plus eight, wherever they are. Okay. We want the box. It could be anything. This is the adventure- oh, they're both adventuring parties. Uh-oh. So the only question is, do I want to fight blue or do I want to fight green? Also... If I might lose a guy, maybe I go left. Also, I don't think I've seen Varden before. Or I had, like, too strong a party and I couldn't see his skills. Let's just go down a... Variety. Red, blue, green variety pack. Guff, Varden, Scabs. Deal three damage to two random enemy mercs. They're slower next turn. Oh, sad. No combo.
guy is really good at beating up Varden. Eleven. Let's see. Deal two damage to all enemies. Gain immune this turn. It's simple. All I have to do is guess where. All these guys are attacking. Wait, gain immune this turn. Oh, but it'll be too late. That guy's gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna be to the blue man. I guess I'll have to do this. And then summon a guy. It just seems good. Neither of these are attacking. Yeah. Rambles. Gain stealth. Ooh. Obviously, Guff is the target here. Nothing I can do about that, right? I got no healing, and these guys can't really get affected by Taunt. Mm, that guy will die. Which means, if someone were to get in Taunt, this would work. But no one's gonna gain Taunt. Other than me, which will be useless. Poor Guff. Guff is the guy that I got the big treasure on too, I think. Unlucky. If that thing goes fast enough, my worm could attack it. But sadly, it can't. Four, eleven, nineteen. Attacking. Well, that seems really good for my double attacker. That's really good. All right, we want the box. Those two and Samuro are such a bad combo. Nothing is fast enough to allow Samuro to double attack. Darn, unlucky order. The adventurers are definitely a lot easier than the uh, common mobs. Mysterious stranger. How about a Samuro? Deal 40 damage using double strike. We'll get there. So green is strong against blue, 
But the theory might be, because the end boss is blue, we want to save the green guys against the blue guy, so we go kill this blue red, but... But Samuro is so strong. So this will deal 14 and then a lot more. And this will just finish off one of those guys. <laughs> it's this thing again. Oh, uh, blah. For the Alliance. Nero. This was the Portal Summoner. All hail the burning blade. I hear Samuro might chop this guy up super fast. Chop, chop. Oh no! Order wall! I missed like a ludicrously large amount of damage there. It always has to go first before that one. And that's just clearly the best ability right now. Age is coming in. It's dealing five. Uh, probably best to heal and then gracefully die. That a meanwhile attacking carried me through this one. Avoided a lot of retaliation. We have to cook. Okay, excellent. My For my clan. Keep your blades sharp.
Ah, oh, so now I get to continue the story in Felwood. With that quest line. Hmm. Happy little Kurtris.